If there is one space object that is closest to humans and integrated into our lives, it is the moon. If you look up at the sky at night, you will see a bright moon. The moon is not simply a celestial beauty, but its impact on our Earth and the change it causes on our Earth is amazing. The ocean waves and the moon are inseparable. It is a good fortune for mankind to be watching the full moon and sea waves together from the beach at the end of the evening. At the same time, it would be much more amazing and enjoyable if you knew the science behind it. What is the reason for the effect of sea waves on the full moon and new moon days? Why is the sea inundated twice in the same day in many places? What is the relationship between ocean waves and the moon? Besides that, another one space object plays the role of ocean tides. What is that? Let's see. Many of us don't know the difference between waves and tides. If the wind blows fast on the land, it hits the soil particles on its surface and creates dust layers at that place. Similarly, when the wind hits the surface of the sea, it vibrates the seawater up and down, causing it to rotate and form waves. These waves move from the center of the ocean towards the coast according to wind speed. Usually this wave is 1.5 meters to 3 meters high. Tides mean the rising and falling of the water level of the sea. When the sea level rises, it is called high tide. When it falls, it's called low tide. If you've ever been to the ocean, you wouldn't know the difference. But those who live by the ocean side know it well. High tide and low tide occurs twice a day. Well, why does the sea level rise and fall? The moon is a significant cause of these formations. The moon orbits around the Earth due to our Earth's gravity. There is a tidal force between the Earth and the moon, and it is due to this force that it becomes tidally locked and rotates continuously. This tidal force is responsible for the formation of tides on Earth. In other words, just as the Earth attracts the moon, the moon attracts the Earth. Earth's gravitational pull is greater, causing the moon to orbit around. The moon's gravity is much smaller than that of the Earth's, but it has little effect on the Earth. That's bulging, which makes the Earth swell a little. Earth's surface is 70% made of water, and that water is drawn to the moon. Whichever side the moon orbits around the Earth experiences the bulging effect of the moon. High tide occurs when the bulges are high and low tide occurs where it is low. So in 24 hours, when the Earth completes one complete rotation, high tide occurs twice and low tide occurs twice. Of course, in reality, the Earth isn't a smooth ball. So tides are also affected by the presence of continents, the shape of the Earth, the depth of the ocean in different locations, and more. The timing and heights of the tide near you will be affected by those additional elements. We think high tide occurs only on the full moon, but the truth is that both the tides and waves are high during the full moon or the new moon. The reason for this is not only the moon, but also the sun. The main cause of these bulges on Earth is usually the moon, but the sun also plays a role. The sun is the reason there are more waves and tides, especially during the full moon and new moon days than on other days. Just as the impact of the moon causes a bulge on the Earth, similarly the sun, which is several thousand times more massive, also causes a bulge on the Earth. On normal days, the influence of the moon is more. But what is special about full and new moon days is that the Earth, Sun and Moon are all aligned in a straight line. At that time, the bulging caused by the Moon and the bulging caused by the Sun is combined, resulting in greater bulges than on other days. If the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon, it is a full Moon. If the Moon is between the Sun and the Earth, it is a new Moon. Because these two are in the same straight line during the event, there are more waves and tides. This phenomenon is called spring tides. Another phenomenon is neap tide. This means there will be few waves and tides. When the moon is perpendicular to the sun and the earth, the bulges caused by the sun and those caused by the moon balance each other. So the tides are lower than on other days. Many people think there is no moon during the new moon. So the moon's gravity is less on that day. And during full moon, the moon is brighter. So the gravity is higher and the tides in the ocean are higher. 
Even during the new moon, the moon is there, but our eyes do not see it because the sun's light didn't fall on the other side of the moon. The moon always orbits around the Earth, whether it is visible to our eyes or not. Its gravitational pull is always the same. But on full and new moon days, the tides and waves are higher than on other days due to the sun's gravitational pull. This is how the seawater level falls in many places of the world, exposing more areas of beaches. The seawater then rises and covers larger areas which disappear into the sea. Now, we may be concerned that since the Earth's surface is made up of 70% water and the moon impacts the Earth, will it impact our body, which is also made up of more than 70% water? We are much, much closer to the Earth than the moon. The moon's gravity is much less than the Earth's, so there's no chance of the moon affecting our bodies. The moon's gravity cancels out the Earth's gravity, thus no change occurs in Earth. The moon not only increases the tides, but also slows down the Earth's spinning. At the time of the Earth's formation, its rotation speed was high. The speed is now decreasing mainly because of the moon's gravitational force. Humans took advantage of this natural phenomenon caused by the moon to generate electricity through turbines. Also, ships at the port use this low and high tide phenomenon to save fuel for coming and going ashore. The moon is amazing, but it would be much more beautiful if we knew the science behind it.